invited me to sanctuary for what he claimed was my safety. The slack jaws who populate this city make my flesh scream. A young woman said hello to me today. I stared back at her, my mind screeching as I looked for a way to escape this unwanted interaction. As my face grew red with nauseous stress, a blood vessel popped in my nose and a jet of crimson shot out of my nostrils, splattering us both with blood. She screamed and ran away. Pleased as I was at the time, I knew the importance of blood to shoot from my face will not be a viable long-term step. <laughs> sanctuary citizens. by Iridium, hence Jack's mining operations. He nodded and silently wiped the streams of my saliva from his face. I returned home, confused not only at his lack of disgust toward my behavior, but my lack of disgust toward him. For the first time, I felt as if I could actually live in Sanctuary. For the first time, I, I feel as if I might be okay. Hello. Given the skill 
with which you dispatched those r robots, we of the town of Overlook thought you might give us a hand, so to speak. So, first item on the agenda, we're all dying of a brain disease. If you c c could get us three shipments of medication, we would live, which uh, would allow me to keep paying you. Our m medicine machine needs a new battery. Please climb the clock tower ladder and remove the clock's battery. Deactivated. The Hyperion Grinder Lottery is almost upon us. Mandatory tickets will be sent to each household next month. God damn it, some jackhole broke the clock tower! How the hell am I supposed to know what time it is now? You found the battery. Plug it into our medicine machine and buy some skull shiver medication. P please. Once I find out who thought we needed a running clock more badly than we needed shiver medication, they will be thoroughly reprimanded. If you got the money, I'll save your golden life. Okay, but we need two more medicine shipments. The next is carried by a traveling Hyperion, Hyperion. requisition officer wandering the Highlands. Get the medicine from him. Without his guards, I'm sure the salesman will give you a good price for his medicine. I suggest killing them politely, if possible. Great! They are very efficient. I expect that. The last medicine shipment was being delivered by boat, but we lost contact. Find it. Please.
appreciate it. Ha, ha, ha. 
is dead? <laughs> no surprises there. I've heard of that Mobley guy. Small time man. Dangerous. Watch yourself. church bell rings for the third time. A truck can stand off? Fine.
see it blow the heck up. I back up, because this is all the way out. Hold on a minute over here. Stay away unless you want to get blast on. destroyed my distillery, did ya? Let me get you a drink. Damn it! It's dry! Those hold-ons destroyed my distillery! That's it! The truth is off! You, Vault Hunter, let's talk! You gonna help me get them hold on bastards? Good. If there's anything they love more than getting to second base with their sisters, it's cows. I want you to get out there and ruin their race. 
Come into me basement. You picked the right family in this war, Boyo. Ages back, one of the Hodungs drowned a few Zaffer boys in the creek bed. After an ex-Hodung killed me boy Lucky a few years back, we made a truce. But after what happened to our distillery, it sounds like the war's back on. Fireworks! Prepare! 
Koreans for their missed up race trip. Waging war on those cute green zappers. You're gonna clean out their cash ditch for us. We got a dead drop out in the highlands with all the details. Go get it! Dash around here, but we ain't sure where. The bagman leaves the Zafford bar every so often. Paul wants you to tail him to the stash, then rob the place. But don't get too close to him. That guy not man with a gun in there. That there's the bagman. Follow him to the cash stash, but don't get too close. Hodon's been trying to kill us for years. Kept saying that Scooter fella who killed Lucky ain't part of their family anymore. But we know the real truth, don't we, voice in me head? Ha! Ah, good job, voice in me head. You always know just what to say. <laughs> Am I being followed? Nah, impossible. Just a few more years of making these trips to the cash dash and maybe Pop will finally love me. I'm a much better son than Lucky. I'm sprightly, I'm more talkative, and I wasn't buried alive in a shallow grave. One of my best qualities, that is. I agree, voice in me head. 
nearly to the cash stash now. I can't wait to get inside and not be ambushed. That's my favorite part of these trips, really. Not getting followed and ambushed. Is anybody there? Hmm. Suppose not.
okay. My mom always she says I would survive an all-out clan war between these idiots. <laughs> I guess part of me wanted to prove her wrong.
to my notes, I assume. I would be upset were it not for the equally privacy indifferent background check I ran on you before hiring you for this job. I hid the copious material I compiled after opening the vault those five long years ago. In a fit of spastic paranoia, I did not write down the locations to the information. Find it for me and be handsomely. Oh, were you expecting me to say handsomely rewarded? judgment. Not my own, mind you. I never wanted to be here. Mm. I was perfectly content to live out my days in a non-standard living arrangement with two sailing chairs I met at a bar fight. Oh, they're adorable. They barely speak any English. And if you have to ask what a sailing chair is, I pity the life you've wasted. I should discuss the scroll offense in the room. The reason for my relocation was an elongated and systematically unpleasant torture at the hands of Jack's cronies. Roland and his well-defined pectoral muscles were kind enough to entrust the vault key with me after the awakening of the destroyer. Not to be confused with the warrior. Seriously, those sound nothing alike. Oh, right, torture. I asked nicely on several occasions to take proper precautions against bacteria on the instruments, but it fell upon idiotic ears. As they cut into my flesh over and over, I would fade in and out of consciousness and whisper to the ceiling change that it was going to be okay. Clark was afraid at first. His four legs trembled against the cold ceiling. But he knew he had to be strong for me. Then they went to work on his brother, Philippe. Philippe? I, I just... Philippe was so brave. He was so brave for me when the rotary saws began to ply his legs from his body. Clark cried out for his brother. Even when one of the torturers inadvertently sat on him and muffled his cries, the last thing Philippe said before he passed on to the great wooden beyond was, I love you, Patty. I love you. And then he was gone. <sighs> it's lonely here in Sanctuary. Sure, Clark prattles around on the ceiling, but it's hardly the same. My eyes. Jack has taken so much from me. Jack has taken the only happiness I've ever had in his asinine quest for the warrior and more power. Revenge is as pointless as music, but on this occasion, I will allow myself the revenge. I will allow myself to aid in his downfall. Mark my words, Jack. You're going to die. Ah, the chronicles of my torture. <laughs> I shall warm up some cold cocoa and listen to these again.
activated. Cheat activated. Coward! Coward! I already forgot about you! Smartest thing you've done all day! Come back! Why so? Coward! I've been waiting for this. 